Hey guys, this is Tealus here with another Warlords of Vayner beta video. I'm going to be looking at the first of the healing specs and discipline priests. I'm going to be looking at their major changes, their changed and removed abilities, their new and changed glyphs, their new drainer perks, and then finally their new and changed talents. Uh, before we get started, I would like you to take a look. I am using the dwarf model here. The new dwarf model looks really nice. And I am wearing the first season of PvP gear for Priest. It looks uh, pretty nice. A uh, nice little purple glow on the shoulders. But uh, this is your first gear, first set of gear for Warlords PvP. So getting into the changes. First change is that atonement has been toned down. Uh, it was considered too powerful and too effective. Um, so the healing component has been reduced. You will no longer heal as much for the damage that you do. Um, know that in a situation in which you were able to like smite spam and just heal based on that, you might not be able to do that anymore. So you need to be careful with atonement. You know, test it out and see its limitations. But it has been nerfed. It's not as powerful as it was before. Second major change comes in the form of level 90 talents. There are two changes here. The first of which is that they were considered too powerful in conjunction with Divine Aegis. So the level 90 talents now follow standard AoE capping rules, so you will not be able to blanket the raid in, you know, discipline absorbs. You will not be able to, you know, just power, you know, uh, halo absorbs everywhere. No, that's not going to be the case. The second change is the fact that the level 90 talents now have a cast time and so does Prayer of Mending. I'm very irritated that Prayer of Mending has a cast time, it's one of my favorite spells ever, and now it has a cast time. The reason for this was that Blizzard wanted to reduce healer mobility. They did not like how mobile healers were uh, in Mists of Pandaria at all, and uh, it was kind of ridiculous that a healer was able to just continually, you know, run and heal and really not have to worry about you know casting at all and so this this is what they did to counteract that is they gave a lot of classes they transformed several of their abilities from instant cast to cast times so that is the nerf to priest as a whole to their cast time abilities and their mobility holy nova is no longer a major glyph and it is instead a disc baseline ability a Blizzard needed to fill the role of a mana efficient AoE heal. They have their mana inefficient, or rather their healing throughput spell in Prayer of Healing, but they needed a mana inefficient heal, I mean, sorry, a mana efficient heal, AoE heal, and that comes in the form of Holy Nova. So if you want to keep your mana bar up and still be able to heal, you're going to want to be up close and personal with Holy Nova. Just know that. So, the last major change that you need to know about Discipline Priest is that they consolidated a lot of abilities and removed a lot of abilities specifically dealing with returns to mana. The returns to mana for Discipline Priest were very confusing and very complex. Uh, you know, this passive re return mana here, this passive return mana here. Difficult to balance for, and it was just kind of unnecessary. So as we go through changed abilities and removed abilities, you're going to see a lot of things, you know, removed or changed. And, you know, that was done to consolidate, you know, the mana returns for the spec. And don't worry, they've been somewhat baked into the building, uh, to the building, to the abilities specifically, but you don't have to worry about the, you know, like Rapture or Inner Focus, you know, that confusing mana returns, you know, mana returns are now just, you know, baseline, there may be one or two, but for the most part, their mana returns are more uh, manageable, let's just say. So that leads us into the changed abilities for Disc Priest. The first of which is Evangelism, and that is now Disc only. It's, you know, when you deal damage with Smite or with uh, Holy Fire, you know, you gain that stack of Evangelism. Uh, the thing now is that it consumes, it is consumed by Archangel to increase healing done. It no longer increases damage done. So I'm up to five stacks. And it just says, consumes by Archangel spell to increase healing done. So nothing special with Evangelism right now. When I consume Archangel, I have five stacks, healing increased by 25%. So, it's uh, 
kind of analogous to a Beastmaster focus fire um, type of thing. That's how it's going to be working from now on. So that is a you know change to Evangelism, and I guess you could say to Archangel as well. Focused Will. Whenever you take damage now, you will gain a Focused Will stat that reduces damage. Before it was like you had to take like 5% or more damage. Now it's just straight whenever you take any damage. So that's a nice buff. It's going to counteract uh, an ability that you lose. But um, overall, I think it'll be... Uh, overall, I think it will be a buff as a whole instead of uh, losing something or just breaking even. Pain suppression no longer reduces threat, so you should know that small little change there. Rapture has been gutted to the ground. It lost all of its mana regenerating abilities. And now the, you know, one second cooldown for, or the GCD cooldown for Power Word Shield is now just baked directly into Power Word Shield. So, very simple. Holy Fire now lasts 9 seconds instead of 7. Small change there. And then lastly, Shadow Fiend no longer regenerates mana. Blizzard really wants you to pay attention to your mana bar if you are a healer. You have to make sure that you choose between your mana throughput spell or your healing throughput spells and your mana efficient spells. You have to use them wisely. You are going to have no bailouts unless you have a mana potion. That is it. That is the only thing that will bail you out. Innervate's gone. All of the mana regenerating abilities are gone save for one, which we will talk about in a little bit. There are several removed abilities for Dis Discipline Priest. The first is Inner Focus. All of it has been gutted, gone. Most of it dealt with mana costs, but the uh, you also lose the immunity to silence, interrupt, and dispel effects. Grace was gutted, and then all that was left was healing. They baked it in, so Grace is now out of the game. Strength of Soul, which... Um, you know, reduce the duration of weakened soul debuff on the target has been removed. Train of thought has been removed. That dealt with inner focus. But it also was the reduction of um, cooldown of penance. That has now been removed. Divine focus has been removed. That was your pushback suffered from damaging attacks to be reduced. That's gone. Hymn of Hope has been removed. That was your mana regenerating ability. Same thing with Shadow Fiend. Anything that reduced mana has been removed from the game. Inner Fire and Inner Will have been removed. Uh, I'm okay with this because I personally didn't really like in a battleground setting having to tie my shoes, put my shoes on every time I left the graveyard. And that's what it felt with the self buffs. Pretty much all self buffs have been removed from the game. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. Know that Binding Heal and Renew are now Holy Only. You do not have access to them anymore. And I really kind of like this change. Shadow Word Death is now Shadow Only. I like that change only because I have a disc friend that likes to steal all of my killing blows in a battleground. And it was very irritating. And he can no longer do that. The last major removal is Heal. Now, it may be confusing if you look in notes and whatnot, it says, oh, well, heal's still there. Well, it is, and you can see right here in the bottom right-hand corner, I'm over heal. And, but, it now has the icon of greater heal. It casts, like, greater heal. If I can, well, let me target myself, excuse me. You can see the animation for greater heal. And they changed that because... They're removing the three-tier system that they implemented in Cataclysm. They're removing the, you have the short, powerful, mana inefficient heal. You have the long cast time, mana efficient heal that does nothing. And then you have the really powerful spell. That's not the case anymore. You now have one mana efficient heal and one healing throughput spell. Your healing throughput spell for a single target is going to be flash heal. That is what you're going to be using if you want to, you know, get, you know, get someone up really quickly. If you want to, you know, conserve your mana and be conscious of your mana, you're going to want to be using heal, or you'll be using penance, or you'll be most likely using power word shield. So, those are your mana inefficient, uh, sorry, your mana efficient spells. Power Word Shield's kind of in between, but that's also because it's instant cast. Um, unlike Penance, where you have to wait for the full effect to go through, or Heal, that you actually have to cast. 
So, major change there, really welcome change there. Uh, the removal of heal does nothing but good for the entire game, because it really brings back spec identity. Uh, this can now be the bubble class that they originally once were, and they lost with the change in Cataclysm. There are several new glyphs regarding uh, Discipline Priests. The first of these is Glyph of the Inquisitor. Your Holy Fire deals 25% additional initial damage, but 20% of that damage is also dealt back to you. There is Glyph of Restored Faith, which Leap of Faith pulls you to the target instead of the pulling the target to you. It is exclusive with Glyph of Leap of Faith, so you can only have one or another. Um, so re Glyph of Restored Faith is like your intervene for priests. There's Glyph of Shadow Magic, which for 5 seconds after activating Faith, you are immune to silence and interrupt effects, but the cooldown of Faith is increased by 60 seconds. So that is kind of your, you know, compensation for inner focus being removed from the game. There is Glyph of Purification. This is the last one. And that is Purify now has a maximum of two charges, but its cooldown is increased by four seconds. I really like the two charge system. If you can ever, you know, get that, grab it, because um, it, it allows you a lot of flexibility that you would normally have. Uh, and normally the increased cooldown is something you can deal with to get those two charges. Notice that something like Binding Heal is now wholly only. Any of the glyphs that were tied to spells that are no longer in your toolkit have been removed from you, obviously. So just so you know that. That leaves us with the Draenor perks for Discipline Priest. If I were to, you know, go here, we can take a look at the four of them. The first of these is Empowered Archangel. The next Prayer of Healing you cast after activating Archangel has a 100% increased critical strike chance. So, I guess if you really wanted to, you know, get a really powerful, you know, Prayer of Healing off, you could shoot off a Smite real quickly, and then pop Archangel at one stack, and then get a Prayer of Healing 100% crit chance. Um, just know that it's there and it's uh, every time you activate Archangel. There's an Enhanced Focus Will. Each application of Focus Will also increases your damage dealt by 5%, so not, long, not only will you be, you know, have damage reduced, but you will be uh, dealing more damage. There's Enhanced Leap of Faith, which your Leap of Faith also increases your next non-periodic heal cast on that target by 50% for 10 seconds. And then lastly, there is Enhanced Power Word Shield. This is the best one. Reduces the duration of your weakened soul caused by your Power Word Shield by 5 seconds. This kind of compensates for the loss of strength of soul. And, you know, with the Glyph, this puts your weakened soul debuff down to, I believe, 8 seconds, if I'm correct. So, that's a nice, really a nice one there that I think uh, priests are going to enjoy. Just priests. Finally, we are at the talent tree. There are several changes here, so we'll go from top to bottom. First, you'll notice that the 15 tier has been switched with the 60 tier. Blizzard wanted more interaction with priest abilities earlier in the player life cycle, so they just switched the tiers. Angelic Feather now only increases max speed by 60% instead of 80%. Mindbender does return mana. It was reduced a bunch. It was like halved or more how much mana it returns. I don't know if this will stay because if this becomes like a mandatory glyph for holy and disc to take, then, uh, sorry, not glyph, talent, there's no way that it's going to stay. That they will get rid of it and they will just make it a straight DPS buff. On the 60 tier, know that Void Tendrils now breaks like Entangling Roots, so if it takes some damage, you can uh, break Void Tendrils now. Yes, Psychic Scream is now in the Talent Tree. It is no longer a basic line ability, and it had it, its cooldown increased by 15 seconds. So it's now a 45 second cooldown, and it's in the Talent Tree. Siphon was removed, so uh, I know that's uh, kind of a big disappointment. So that's a big PvP nerf right there. You're going to have to actually spec into Psychic Scream. Dominate Mind. Know that Dominate Mind shares diminishing returns with anything dealing with Mesmerize effects. So, uh, example would be a... 
Warlock Succubus's uh, Seduction. That is a mesmerize effect, and that will share diminishing returns with Dominant Mind. That's just Blizzard's way of reducing the amount of diminishing returns in the game. The 75 tier, know that Twist of Fate no longer activates after dealing damage to a target below 35%. It's only after healing a target below 35% do you get the 15% uh, increased damage and healing for 10 seconds. Know that Power Infusion no longer has an increased damage portion to the... Uh, to the talent. No, and then lastly, Spirit Shell has replaced the Divine Insight for Disc. Uh, it is just going to be in the talent tree here as a level 75 talent. One thing I did not mention on the level 90 tier is that your damage component of Halo in Cascade and Divine Thorn is gone. It is only healing for the healing specs and only damage for the damaging specs. So as you can see, I, it completely passed that killable uh, damage dummy, so you cannot use it. That leaves us with the last tier, which is the level 100 talents, the brand new talents. Uh, the first of which is Clarity of Will, which shields the target with a protective ward absorbing 40,000 damage within 20 seconds. So we'll go ahead and use this here. Um, I have myself targeted. Nice spell visual. It's pretty cool. Actually, nice sound effect too. So that is the spell visual. You can see uh, that and power word shield on me. I have both my bubbles on me. So now you can really bubble people all over the place. Uh, you know, just by uh, with the three bubbles that you have. And then if you grab spirit shell, now I have three bubbles on me. <laughs> um, if you grab spirit shell, you've got you know something else to help out as well. But um, definitely. Uh, really cool uh, talent. I think it'll be taken for both PvP and PvE. Something to look at. It does have a cast time, but it is something that's pretty powerful. Words of Mending. Your healing and shielding spells grant you a stack of Word of Mending. And when you gain 10 stacks of Word of Mending, your next targeted uh, healing or shielding spell also casts a Prayer of Mending at them. So, I'm stacking up these stacks here. I'm going to switch this target so you can actually see the Prayer of Mending shoot out. Nine stacks, ten, and here we go. Fires across. So, honestly, I don't see this being used in PvP at all. This is something that's going to be a PvE-only talent. Uh, I just, with the ten stacks, I just don't see it being used in PvP. The last talent here is Saving Grace, which instantly heals a friendly target for 60,000, reducing your absorbs and healing done by 10% for 10 seconds, stacking up to 10 size. This is strictly an uh-oh button. So if you find yourself about to die, this is what you use. You know, because you'll start healing yourself for less and less. So I use it once. And as you can see in the, t in the top right corner, I'm starting to get debuffs. And as you can see, the numbers, minus the crits, are going down consecutively. And then when I reach 10 stacks here, you're going to see I'm going to be healing for nothing. 697, 700. So it's strictly an uh-oh an, uh button. You know, you can cast three or four of them off at the same time until your friend gets out of the way, and then you got to stop casting them or else you're going to be in trouble. This is definitely something that I think will be more of a PvP talent, and then Words of Mending will be more of the PvE talent, and then Clarity will be will be kind of looked at for both. But um, those are the level 100 talents for Discipline Priest. Uh, I hope you guys liked the changes to Discipline Priest. Uh, they definitely got kind of nerfs, but I think they will be okay. Um, they will survive. So, hope you enjoyed everything here. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Tearless out.